It's been a long time coming from the SC Sakalana, baby. Sometimes it feels like the world is against me. Cause I'm coming from SC. From heartache and pain, struggle and strain. Trying to maintain for the SC. So, mama, don't worry. Hey, I'ma make my dreams happen. Question of the day. The blank is the lar largest organ of the body. A. Heart. B. Liver. C. Skin. D. Large intestine. Answer will be revealed at the end of the video. So now it's time for our shout out praise break and I want to give these four amazing subscribers a shout out. Miss Debris Nails. Flawlessly Unique Nails. Christina Capen 8926. And Nails by E3453. Thank you ladies for having your post notification bells turned on and being the first four to comment on my last video. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the Nail Genie SC. How are you? I hope you are well and your family is doing well. Do me a favor if you don't mind. If this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing. And if you've been here with me and are returning, I want to welcome you back. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a great deal. And help pushes our content out to many more amazing subscribers such as yourself. So guys, I am going to be doing some fruit nails today. I'm just showing you all the items that I'm going to be adding to these nails. Um, the products that I'm going to be using um, and I'm going to be doing the nails on my practice hand here and I'm going to be doing some uh, gel nails on my practice foot now every time the seasons start to change I like to dress up my practice hands and um, you know display them around the room to give the client a little bit of idea on what you know what colors we can look at um, also, not just the colors, but, you know, um, everything. The colors, the design, just a beautiful array of decor so they have something good to look at when they're looking around the nail space. So today we're just going to do some encapsulation with some flakies, some fruit slices. And for the background color, I'm going to be using the Garden Neon Jelly uh Three of the colors from that series um, from Born Pretty. Guys, you already have seen um, the review on these. And oh my God, they are spectacular. So I wanted to use these as a, um, a little bit of a base color underneath the nail. Um, I wanted to do a clear nail, but I realized that I had prepped the hands with natural tips. So I had to go and pivot another way. And we always have to do that. I mean, I could have just popped these off and put some clear tips on. But I had already had everything set up and I was just like, we'll just go another way. Um, so guys, this week I've been so very busy. I want to thank you all who have supported me on this journey. I want to let all of the creators out there that I follow, if you have not seen me, don't fret. I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. <laughs> I missed you guys. I missed not being able to do a live this week. But we had such an amazing time at VBS this week. Um, we uh, Our lesson was Jesus is coming back. And all week we talked about when, the why, the who, the uh, where, and um, all of that. So we just had a really good time. And the kids learned a lot. They fellowshiped together. They made some kids make friends, new friends, old friends. 
um so it was a really good time and um but we're done it was a four day uh event and we are done and back to normal schedule for me and i have missed a lot i've had i've got a lot of catching up to do on youtube i got a lot of catching up to do as a creator um, I have a few PR videos I need to work on and get out. I've got a collaboration that's coming up, guys. We have a collaboration coming up on June 15th and June 16th. And it's called our um, Fast Food Collab. And we have about 22, um, 20, I think 22 collaborators in this collab. If I'm not mistaken, yes. We have about 22 collaborators in this collab. And, yeah, we're going to have a good time, guys. So, as the time draws near and, you know, we're not too far away. But we'll, hopefully, we'll be able to get out a list or some type of schedule or some type of flyer. Um, so, you guys can know who the collaborators are and, um you'll be prepared for them on that 15th and 16th. So it is going to be a two-day collaboration. Um, yes, guys, we are going to um, pack the house down. It's going to start at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone, and it's going to go all the way to 10 p.m. each night. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to it because I surely am. And some of your favorite creators, if not all your favorite creators, will be uh, sharing with you their rendition of our fast food collab. So, that's another thing that's on the books that I got to work on. Um, my collaboration video as well as just getting, um, uh, I got to do my Zodiac series for our Geminis. Um, so, I got to work on that. Hopefully we can do that. Um, I can get that done sometime this coming week as well and get this that out before the 21st of the month because then we go into a new season. We go into the next season. So I want to get that done. So I got a lot of stuff on my plate and um, we got a lot of things to look forward to on this channel. I hope you guys are here for it because I definitely am. <laughs> I definitely am, but... Oh, y'all, I have had such a long um, week. Um, you kind of hear it in my voice. I'm a little tired. Um, I've, I taught two nights, and then the other teacher taught two nights. And, yeah, <clears throat> so we had a good time. Um, so here on this uh, pinky and ring, I created a stiletto shape to these nails um, all of the nails were a uh, coffin or a tapered square look and I just turned the two uh, nails on the ring and pinky to stilettos because I thought at first guys I was going to create the fruit slices like draw them on and then I was like no nah, I got all these female fruit things let's just do some encapsulation now and that not mean to tell you that I'm not going to try this fruit thing again but I'm just coming up with ideals and, you know, sometimes you have to put ideals down on paper for them to, for you to follow the paper and it come to life. But sometimes you can do it off the, you know, top of your head. And that's what we did here, guys. So I'm not going to do a lot of rambling and talking. I'm really going to let you guys sit back, enjoy some music and look at these nails come to life. And watch all of the different fruit pieces encapsulated and how I encapsulate the nails. Now, I didn't show you guys the fouling and stuff on camera. Nor did I show you all the polish on the toes. Because that was just an added commodity to um, put on a display for my nail space. Um, but, and I didn't want to make this video drawed out and very long. But this part of the video, I did keep in all of the application process of the video. Um, I think the camera cut off after I got to the pointer finger. But I did keep all of the application process in as much as I could to give you all an idea about encapsulating big pieces on the nail. 
So what I will tell you before I leave is when you do an encapsulation, make sure you don't do your acrylic layers too thick. Give it a very nice thin layer and then put those pieces on there and kind of press those pieces into that wet acrylic and then go in with your acrylic. That way you don't bulk up the nails too much. You don't have too big too large of a nail because of course you already know when you're encapsulating something in the nail you it's already feeling like it's a little bit too big and then when you're doing the pro adding the product to it it start to feel like okay is this is this nail going to be too thick or it's going to be too bulky but you just have to be re remind yourself when you're encapsulating okay i'm encapsulating these pieces i don't want my nails too thick so Let's be strategic, okay, with it. Now, you definitely want to make sure all your pieces are encapsulated. Because if not, when you go to file and buff and shape and all of that stuff and using your drill bit, you will chip into your encapsulated pieces. And that's something you don't want to do. So, you may have to add a little bit extra product, but you can always remember that you can file that product down a little bit thin. That way, it's not so bulky and not so big, but you want to re remain staying in the guide of the nail. Also, you want to make sure that no acrylic touch the skin of your client or your hands or anybody that you're doing hands, your daughter, your friends, your cousins. Make sure to keep the product off the skin, but just take your time uh, when encapsulating, and I promise you it'll come out. Um, it'll come out really well. Now, guys, I'm using this Anna Acrylic Crystal Clear, and I've used it times before, and I really, really love it. I really do. Her Crystal Clear is everything she say it is, and I, I love it. So, I'm going to be using that today, and you guys will see. Um, at the end, the final look when I put the um, top coat on these nails, how clear um, they turned out and how see-through, you can see right through the nail to that beautiful, amazing neon colors that's there and the fruit pieces and some of those flakies. So, I want you guys to enjoy and I'll be back shortly.
right guys so here i'm just going to add a few of these beautiful colorful rhinestones um, on each nail matching the color of the tip of the nail that i chose and as you can see i didn't add fruit pieces into the toes because this is all gel but i did add the flakies into the toes so you have like a little bit of shift and shimmer and sparkle on the toes so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. And if you're still here with me, leave me some fruit slices or fruit emojis in the uh, comment section. And let me know what you think about this idea. Did it make you want to go get a nice, cold, fresh glass of punch, lemonade, or orange juice? And yeah, just let me know what you think. Now, I want to thank you all for the support to my channel. I truly appreciate you all so very, very much. Um, guys, if it was not for you, it would not be no me. So if you are here and have not yet decided to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you are enjoying the content, um, I promise you it just get better from here. Now, I noticed by watching my um, analytics, I have like 30% of guys of, of you guys that are continually watching my videos but not yet subscribed. Subscriptions are free and it don't cost you a thing. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a great deal over here on the channel. And we are continuing to grow the platform. I don't know how long or how far we're trying to get, but we'll take what we'll take the amazing subscription. We'll take the likes. We'll take the comments. We'll take the views. We'll take it all as long as we are performing and putting out content for you guys. Okay. So, if you are here and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be a part of my YouTube journey and YouTube family. Alright guys, so I'm using my flashy to cure those uh, rhinestones in place before I put the whole hand in the light. I didn't want to have to stop, put the hand in the light, stop filming, and then start back when I come back. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the no white top coat on the nails and i'm using my koopa no white top coat i love my koopa no white top coat it's always my go-to but i found that my eye gel beauty is amazing i found <laughs> i found i got a couple of top coats that's amazing my can canny super top coat is super glossy top coat is amazing so i got a few that's amazing i like to test out some top coats and so far i'm not disappointed in any of that ones that i actually own so yeah so i'm going in and i'm going to put that top coat on all of these nails and guys you can see the shine coming through forgive me for all of the blurriness it's because the nails trying to focus on every all this goodness on the table <laughs> The camera, I mean, trying to focus on all the goodness on the table. But you can see how clear that uh, clear, that crystal clear from Anna Acrylics really uh, come through. And how that Koopa top coat really makes it shine, shine through. So, yeah, I will be trying this again on clear nails using that crystal clear and see how that 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 goes as well but i really 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 like this application uh and the how the nails turned out they turned out really good so yeah i'm proud of i'm proud of little old me she trying to get back in it because when you stop doing something you have to start again and it's like okay <laughs> you gotta get it right and some days are worse than others but today was a good day so i'll take it all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me over on all of my socials at the Nail Genie SC. And I will see you all in my next video. Guys, the answer to the question is coming up here shortly. And if that was your answer, then you answered correctly. Until the next time, guys, you already know what time it is. Yes, the deuces are flying in the air. Poof, the nail genie, she's out.